Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about corner cases, so let's get into it. So corner cases, what is a corner case? Well, a corner case, my friend, is... It's not the worst thing in the world, but it is something that will will mess you up more times than you can can imagine. It is the source of so many bugs and so many debates and so many discussions and so many hours of wasted time and so much extra code and ambiguity and problems and oh absolute uh, I, everything. It is I, it's not the root of all evil. It's not, but it's damn close to the root. Maybe it's the trunk of the tree or something like that. So let's define a corner case. Now, for the juniors out there, a corner case is a term that we programmers use for an event, for any piece of logic, that is highly unlikely to happen. What does that mean? Well, imagine this. Let's say for the sake of argument that you are creating a function that adds two numbers together, let's say in JavaScript. Now what you're gonna most likely do is that you're gonna say, hey, A plus B equals something, return whatever it equals. And you expect that to work in virtually any piece of software that you write or any, any code that you write in your project. But what happens if I give the max integer variable, the max integer constant, integer dot max integer, as both inputs. In other words, the biggest number that JavaScript can contain. If you add those two numbers together, does your function handle that? Most likely not, because that is what we call the corner case. The odds of somebody using, or virtually that the number reaching the limit of what a number can actually be in the language is what we call a corner case. Now these corner cases, you may not think that they are they all are all that common, but they're actually very frequent. It's very common that you find yourself in this is a very trivial example, but at larger scales there's tons of situations where you have different events and different things that are happening in different parts of the system and then you realize that hey what happens if let's say for the sake of argument that a user has decided to i don't know has decided to do something that you don't haven't considered in another part of the code that that will actually break the system. Imagine if you have a sign a sign in situation and for some reason you don't have a username or a or a first name or a last name or something of that nature. There's tons of these different conundrums that can exist that you you have one piece of logic that assumes that a certain sequence of events have happened in a very specific order. And a corner case is when that, whenever that doesn't happen, whenever something that is very unlikely, that it's possible that it can happen, but it's highly unlikely. So what do you do? I see two things happen when this happens to software developers. And you can fall, usually you fall into one of these two categories, either, you do the pragmatic, well, not the pragmatic thing, either you ignore it. You simply say that, yeah, this is a corner case, the odds of this happening is so, you, you, may, you make a judgment call, you kind of guesstimate that, hey, this is never going to happen, or it's very unlikely that this happens, and then you move on with your day. That's one scenario. And then the other scenario are, is more for the people who do what I also see quite often is that they sit there and they try, and these, these are the perfectionists out there in the world, they try to write software that covers all the corner cases. And basically, that, that in general is very, very, well, let's just call it defensive programming or perfectionism, if you will. It's the sort of thing that takes a lot of time, usually, and it requires a lot of testing. It's usually the sort of thing that your manager doesn't want you to do. 
because your manager is a pragmatist or generally a business person who is going to tell you that, oh, okay, so how long is that going to take? And then you explain that, hey, corner case, depending on the corner case, it can actually take quite a while longer because corner cases are tricky. And then your manager is going to go, <laughs> do you have to? And depending on what type, how accommodating, how accommodating you are as an individual, you're going to say either yes or no there. And the trend is usually that people say no, and then the corner case kind of just lives on and comes, usually what happens is that it comes back as error rep errors reported in your logging system at some later date. And some, and honestly, don't think that I'm just trying to, I'm trying to be all patronizing here and say that, hey, obviously this is going to be a problem because you may not actually think this, but most, if not all, large scale systems have issues. Trust me, every company I've ever worked for has a log, an error log tracking system that is constantly being spanned by different types of issues and errors. Guys, there no, there's no such thing as perfect code whatsoever. So a good rule of thumb when it comes to corner cases in order to kind of determine when you need to think about them and when you can kind of let them be because they're just going to be another issue that is all, and trust me, you're going to have issues. It's much more sane for you to design a system that can handle the issues and deal, deal with issues as opposed to try to write something that never has issues because it's in, in theory, it's, in theory, it's possible. In practice, it's not possible to write a flawless system. So how do you think about it? A good rule of thumb is this, and this is what I do. I ask myself, all right, if this corner case happens, what is the impact of this? Does it crash the entire application, yes or no? Does it make some type of permanent damage to the database or something like that? If, it, if it's no to both those questions, if the corner case in no way creates a situation that is f severe in, uh, per my definition, depending on the, it, it of course depends on the company, but if it's a corner case that does not produce a severe issue for the system, just let it be. Put a comment so that, or something that explains that, hey, this corner case can in theory exist, watch out for it because over time you might find that the corner case at, at this point in time may not be so severe but in the future it can actually get to be severe so it's a it's still a maintenance thing if you don't want to have the have to maintain it over time and think about it you should fix it but as i said it's very costly to fix corner cases so i think that that's a good rule it's not perfect i will admit it's not mm. a perfect solution at all but it is a very practical solution to a problem that usually costs costs a lot to costs a lot to fix so that's what i think have a great day